Let's get it in. Cheers. Welcome to 766 Studios. Wow, look good, smell good. Must count. Hold up, little buddy, what is you doing? Finna go hard, hard, hard. Ice on my neck, ice on my wrist. That's for the squad, squad, squad. Know they gon' hate, do what I tell them. Get on your jaw, jaw, jaw. Work on smooth, I got the moves. I swear to God, God, God. Hey, I just dropped 200 on a new way. Today is gonna be an exciting day. First time the team is in the studio. Uh, we worked really hard on this, you know what I'm saying? Just wanna give a big shout out. To Patricia, Winnie, Paulette, Aunt Winnie, y'all have done an amazing job. Everything y'all gonna see today, they put together, they made it happen. Um, this was a birthday gift to me, but not only that, it was also just a step to the next level of where we're going in just as the media. So the team haven't seen it today. So they outside gathering right now. They, ain't, they don't even know what they're looking for. So I got, let's find out what they think. You ready to see this new studio? Yeah. <laughs> y'all excited, bro. What's up? Excited, bro. I don't know what to expect, but I know it's gonna go crazy. Uh, <laughs> I know it's gonna go crazy. <laughs> yeah. Man, I've been locked in on this for a while now. I've really been talking about this since forever. Yeah. Honestly, about the, uh, the studio. But he locked in really the last two yeah, months. Yeah, the last couple months. months, but he, I know he definitely done locked in with this shit, so yeah. I already know it's gonna be, it's gonna be unexpected for sure. Yeah, I yeah. Like. Look, yeah. I'm gonna tell the truth. I'm gonna tell the truth, y'all. I done seen it already. A few times. Okay. I'm gonna just say this, bro. I was expecting some crazy shit. Before I seen it, I was expecting some like, you know what I'm saying? Some different shit. But I wasn't expecting what I saw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, me too. So when y'all see that shit, it's like, damn. This don't even feel the same. Like, I just wanna come and work. Mm -hmm. see, like, this shit really up. What am I expecting? Yeah. I'm expecting it to be blood. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll see what it looks like. All right, y'all. So, uh, first of all, thank y'all for an amazing year last year. Let's give a round of applause. Round of applause. Hey. Last year was great. It was not, too much, not too much on last year. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> but last year is gone. Today is a new day. Yes. Uh, we are... I'm just not playing. You know what I'm saying? I don't put everything that I have into this because I feel like everybody on this porch is worth betting on. And I feel like it's about to be a real return. So to do that, to signify that, to display that, I wanted to create a place that we could be proud of. This is like our laboratory, you know what I'm saying? I want a place that we could be proud of, a place that feel good, a place that's comfortable, sexy, you know what I'm saying? A place that professional, professional, <laughs> a place that feels like success. Uh, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is phase one. <laughs> you know, it's just for a reason, y'all. Yeah. When Elgin wills it, it comes to fruition. So everything that you see, you put in some work. I'm telling you, it's called just Elgin for a reason. I'm gonna walk in here and be proud, man. Let's go. Let's get it in. Welcome to 766 Studios. Wow, look good, smell good. Must count. Okay. 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 Was it worth the wait? Yo. Cause y'all niggas talking about we can't yeah. cry. Yeah. 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 Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> this y'all. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh,
What is this? What is what is pod? We were podcast episodes. Episode five. And then at the around the corner. Oh no, this is before that. This is we were looking for a place. Oh, we were looking for a place. This is actually one of your first ones at the at the restaurant. Yeah, the juice bar. Juice bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey man, the studio is amazing. I, I didn't expect any of this. I'm glad to see everything coming to fruition. 2023, gonna get serious. Everybody like it? Oh yeah. Love it. Oh yeah. Been worth the wait. I know. I know the boy. They've been like, man, yeah, dang. Uh, <laughs> All right. So boom. Look at everybody. Here. We're gonna get started. Um. More than happy New Year, everybody. We are in 2023. I'm super excited about that. Um. Man, t- this is actually going on our fifth year. That's going on our fifth year started. Um, big shout out to Keith. I think I get some flowers and Keith A. Good. None of this would be possible if it were not for this man. Keith so introduced and told me what a podcast was. I didn't even know it until this brother broke it down for me. So this brother has I'm like, you don't know who Joe Biden is? <laughs> <laughs> you mean Biden? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, he he just been one of them dudes that believe since the first time we met. You know what I'm saying? And, and this wasn't the first venture we did. We, he done been through uh, about three or four ventures for me. Um, but this one was different. Uh, this one was started, like, with true passion. You know what I'm saying? True belief. So I'm definitely excited about what's going to go to New Year. Uh, Keith, Keith Haygood, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, biggest gym. Is, I mean, the whole thing. Everybody. Um Biggest thing I also took from it was, hey man, a hundred percent, thousand percent belief. You know what I'm saying? If you don't believe in this, you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest dream I took. It's the law. <laughs> My name is Cody. I'm from Douglasville, Georgia. Uh, the best gym, I mean, all of it really is just too much to take in, but I'd say the mentorship I've gotten from E, like I've been able to come to him and just ask him stuff when I'm having problems in my own home. So that's just been a blessing. To Corey. Um, Thomas from Macon, Georgia, originally. Um, the best gym I've received um, probably was when we were talking about having to deposit into relationships before you can withdraw something. That really stuck with me, so I'm always constantly doing, like, doing, keeping that with me at the end of the day. And then this book you about to write. Check. Excited mm-hmm. for that this year, so mm-hmm. definitely been taking notes on that one as well. Dustin was uh, really born in Jersey, but I grew up in Heron County. Um, probably the best gym I done took this year, really, is just like the mentorship, the guidance, uh, the support, and really just like the ability to serve, like the, like the rooms that you put us in, really. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's really been like, I probably shook more hands last year than like ever in like really in my life type. So I say that's probably like the biggest, biggest gym, just like the connections and the like, it was just change your life. All right, it's Justin um, from Atlanta, Georgia, and I say my biggest gym. I say just being surrounded by like-minded people that that want to do better and just and just have a vision and actually like act on that vision, not just just have it. So just being surrounded by people just makes me want to do more for myself, and just I like being a part of that. So uh, can I say I'm from Atlanta? the best gym i think so my background has always been communications and pr which means i'm always helping someone else tell their story i'm i'm like the person behind the scenes narrating their story telling them what to say um and this is the first time that i have said no here's what i have to say Hi, my name is Milani. I am from Riverdale, Georgia. (laughs) And the biggest gem that I've received since being here is actually taking the information and putting it into action. I think, not that I think, but like yourself, I've always just kind of narrated other people's stories and been, you know, played the supportive role. And so now stepping into an environment where I'm able to listen to so many different perspectives, but 
the perspective is not just opinion. They, it's information that can be used. The gym has been being able to take what I've been listening to and or seeing and now applying it to my life, mm -hmm. um, which makes it information in motion. Yes. And so I love that and that is the biggest gym. Ever. I'm Cal, Cal funny. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, South Side, Southwest. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest gym I received, since I'm a family person, I'm very family oriented. I would say is to really value family and real relationships because being around E and Keith, it's a family environment every time. Like even if we go in to do an event, it's always a family feeling type environment. And I value that a lot. So the biggest gem I receive is definitely just value your family and the ones that you really feel is important to really take you up through there. Like whatever skills you got, it don't matter. The people that's important to you is really gonna help you advance all that stuff that you into, whatever. So, 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 so. My name is Paulette Washington. Uh, I am the star of Simply Paulette. Hey. 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 I'm from Monroe, Georgia, and I can truthfully say it's an old saying, and I, I say this because I do think this is a huge family. It has a very um, family, a very functioning family connection. And um, I can truthfully say that it has been said that you take care of your children and when you're older, it will come a time in life where they will take care of you. And most of the time that is interpreted when you're elderly or in need. Mm -hmm. But mine came much earlier than the elderly years in which I would lean upon my children for the necessities of life. Uh, Jamal, I'm from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, yeah, I, for me, the biggest uh, gym, and y'all have all touched on it, uh, the brotherhood, the friendship, the uh, family, and really it's like for me is uh, being seen and being valued. Um, and so I appreciate, I, I send them text messages all the time, I appreciate both of them um, because I feel valued. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you can be in different circles and don't feel that, but keep and uh, Eldridge, they always have done that since day one. To see this, to see the vision uh, continue to grow has been like a blessing. And like I said, I'm, I'm just glad to be uh, like like the, the second cousin of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, for, like I feel apart. Uh, the brother I, man the bro just says, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just drop in, like, you know what I'm saying? But no, it's a beautiful thing. So, and I tell all the time, I'm here for the support. I'm, I'm here, I'm down. Like, I love it. So it's a beautiful thing. You know what's on me? All right. My name is Frank Battle. Uh, I'm from Wakanda, Georgia. Yeah. Uh, and I think the biggest take from this whole situation is the brotherhood that I bonded with Eldridge, and then I got a second mama. So, um, Frank, the reason I got locks. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that was a good piggyback. Uh, but, you know, Eldridge. And what he's done, y'all, I don't really think that, a, you know, the average person, I know Keith knows, I know his mom, you know, knows uh, how far, you know, uh, this journey has been, like his locks, you know, like he said, starting May, that's what was the biggest impact to me because he was reaching out to youth, looking like youth. And, and really was a youth himself you know what i'm saying but to have written a book and to have uh what's that was a uh, hashtag for the lunch bag yeah, yeah 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 and to be you know one of those people that you know organized it. i don't even think that was your event well, man, but he sure. supported it like it was his and i i just always was drawn to that man i appreciate you bro so our mission statement here y'all and our mission is to entertain educate empower and elevate the people through the power of media I mean that so much. Like our slogan at Just Social Media is we create content that pushes the culture forward. Right now, content is so important. Everybody's shooting it, everybody's doing it. But what is it really doing for the culture, right? I can listen to Saba's podcast and know nothing about politics and literally feel like I'm caught up. Yeah. Feel like I can have a conversation because she's just giving the information. She's not pushing a candidate, she's not pushing a party, she's pushing the information to empower us to know what to do on politics, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with my mother. You listen to that, it's like church on Sunday, you know what I'm saying? We release hers on Sunday because that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be motivation. 
Uh, but just elders podcast, we talk about everything. You know, business, community, God, and porn. We talk about it all the time. There's nothing but, but we're willing to have a conversation that most people are not willing to have. Super excited about um, why black man why because never before have we heard the black man in such an authentic way. It is always with filters. It is always with agendas. Mm -hmm. But the barbershop has always been our most sacred ground and a place where no matter how rich you become, you still going to use a barber that's connected to the barbershop. You don't yeah. get rich and start letting somebody cut your hair with scissors. Mm -hmm. right, now nah, you still going to the shop. Even if he's coming to your house, yeah. you're connected to the barber that's connected to the people, right? So the barbershop is so important for black men. So I'm super excited for us to really be able to display what I call every shade of brother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rich, young, old, poor, uh, gay, straight. Like, I'm going to see them all and authentically let's have those conversations that the world don't let us have. And then I'm also excited about them boys, man. Like, this, yeah. this, this is so important, y'all, because you think about the hottest artists in the game right now are under 25. Lil Baby, you know what I'm saying? You, you, uh, oh, young Boy, you can name all these guys. They are super young, but we are always hearing opinions about them from old ass niggas. Mm -hmm. Charlemagne the guy, old as hell. Nori is old as hell. Ebo look like Santa. Uh, like, <laughs> like y'all think. They're uh, so judgmental, too. Yeah. Really. You know yeah, what I mean? So New York. So, so what I'm saying is, this is the first time, the only time we hear from young brothers is when they either in trouble mm -hmm. or if they rapping. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm excited that these young boys, all, they all got different backgrounds. They all are between the age of 20 and 23. Like there is no media personality or voices of young people. So I'm super excited about the boys and what they're going to be doing next. Where the party at empowers people of all ages and political persuasions to become active players in the game of politics. Yo, boys, man, uh, for why black man, why success uh, for us would look like a vehicle of male self care, professionalism, therapy, and economic networking. Because I mean, I feel that our number one goal. Uh, it's to bridge the gap between all black men without the gaps, no pun intended, but uh, to be able to grow and to be able to be a pipeline for economic change and development. Yeah. To authentically impact the needs of our listeners, uplift the consciousness of those who we say that we serve, and give ourselves and listeners an original medium to channel a positive perspective on life, relationships, and service. My vision for all of it, just as a media, just provide everybody in here a lifestyle for podcast. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Everybody should be able to work, doing this, make money doing this, a lot of lifestyle doing this. So we see a lot of people doing it. So mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah. A lifestyle from podcast. That is take over the industry. Like, again, y'all see a lot. Of, haven't y'all seen, you know, when you buy a car, you see that car all the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See y'all buy all the time. You don't see people, oh, I got a podcast. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. And they not hiding. And these folks doing Instagram lives, Facebook yeah. lives. No shade, but shade. Like, that ain't part, like, we ain't in the same yeah. lane. No. And when I say industry takeover, collectively, our podcast, like, I mean, y'all should go back and watch the documentary BET did on uh, No Limit with Master mm -hmm. Peter. Mm -hmm. The level of content that they were putting out back, they were dropping. Every, every Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. At every one. Yeah. They were dropping albums yeah. every regularly. So if you think about our lineup, as of right now, we're literally dropping a podcast every day of the week. Yeah. Literally. From Sunday to Saturday, there's a podcast dropping every day in our network. So that when I say the industry takeover, when people see that gym, like it means something, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's make enough money so I can get us all some real gym. So you know, Elder's a good cop and he's cool. You know what I'm saying? This is all cool and happy and fun. I appreciate it. On um, the serious side, this is work. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to be in here just chilling, um, even though we have a good time doing what we do. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's why it might feel like a mix. Like, oh, we just here chilling, having a good time. But now nah, we're going to be working. Mm -hmm. Editing you know, on something, recording something, <clears throat> cranking out some ideas. Um, the reason why I rock with Elgis is because he's very good on bringing the ideas to life. A lot of people just talk, mm -hmm. right? And we all here as a family to work together. So we can actually do anything that we think about doing. We have the set now, we have the equipment now, we have the people now. So it's like, let's crank out this content. 
I want everybody to make some money this year. So to make money, we gotta put out more content. Period. But I got one more question, y'all. Y'all ready? Yeah. Born ready. Born ready. <laughs> 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 <laughs>